Ladies and gentlemen, wonderful people, this is Call of Duty Fanatics. Welcome back to another Warzone report. And as you probably already know, Season 3 of Warzone is in full swing and there is tons of new mysteries, new clues and new POIs in Verdansk that we need to investigate. Yesterday we were investigating the salt mine uh, bunker and we basically managed to glitch through those doors in the tunnel and to explore the mines inside and it was pretty interesting there is a lot of Nova 6 gas over there etc and many of you guys were pointing me toward the bunker under the factory and as you can see over here Ivan and Nicholas and I we are trying here to glitch through these doors because we want to see what's behind these doors and uh, in a couple of moments we will actually have the exact footage what's actually happening over there and uh, this bunker is not there's no number on this bunker so it's a classical war zone uh, military bunker but this one does not have a number which is also interesting, but I think it will play a major role and we will stop here. Now, as you can see over here, uh, I managed to have a peek behind these doors and as you can see, there is absolutely nothing there. So we need at least to wait until uh, mid-season update to get some uh, additions. So we can expect either salt mines to be open or this bunker or maybe some other Easter egg. But anyways, the topic here, main topic that I want to talk about today is the red phones that we are having scattered everywhere in Verdansk. So far we found 12 of these lovely red phones that are scattered around the map and at the end of this video I will provide you with the interactable map as well uh, with each location and I'm going to show you here each location of the of the phones of the red phones because these phones are going to be very very important and why am I saying this many of you would probably argue that these phones are just random assets in the game but I will argue with one uh, different argument here like people and developers who are working on this game have the people that had a taste of the socialist systems in Eastern Europe and I will tell you from my personal experience, like during the socialist times, there was an army which was called territorial defense. And basically the idea of that concept is to mobilize a couple of millions of people in a matter of uh, hours in the case there is a danger from outside to any of the socialist countries. And we had that back home in Bosnia where Bosnia was when Bosnia was part of Yugoslavia and these red phones were scattered everywhere like from the major companies institutions police stations uh, fire fighting stations stores important people and everybody knew that when red phone is ringing situation is very very serious so that's why we should not underestimate the presence of these phones and that's why I'm providing you with the exact location of every of these phones they are not currently interactable but in the future my prediction is 99% we will use these phones for some kind of a Easter egg or uh, some kind of a riddle or clues that we need to discover in Verdansk in the future development of the story now on the other hand there's also tons of other phones like the black phones they are also over there but I think at the moment considering the fact that there is tremendous amount of these black phones they will not be as important as red phones and I just explained why we should not underestimate the presence of these phones many of you would probably ask um, about the code on the top of every phone 53125 now that code appeared uh, even in a modern warfare with the seasonal update 4 when season 4 was out when the trench map was online so basically this code was used there was in a trench map there was a bunker 
which you can enter by completing one simple task and after that you go inside you check the phone see the number go back and type into the keypad this number and this number was opening the second bunker door which is quite interesting so this code was already utilized in a in a modern warfare easter egg for multiplayer but we haven't seen any utilization of this code in the war zone so these numbers might be used might not be used but again i'm saying we should uh, tread carefully when we are speaking about these red phones so there are in total 12 phones scattered around verdansk mostly in around urban area or downtown downtown i would say so most of them are uh, stationed within the gas stations uh, supermarkets while there is a couple of red phones like this one which is in downtown building which is also very interesting and there's also one phone that is located in the north part just below you can see now this is the map I was talking about so the, there is one phone that's a little bit out of the town I would say out of urban area and it's situated close to salt mines so I will not say that this map is absolutely complete because it's very tough to check absolutely every corner of this map and I'm still checking so if you find any of these uh, red phones that are not on this map please let me know in the comment section below so we can add uh, these additional phones to map because I'm saying again they will be eventually very important in the future easter egg development now in regards of the easter eggs probably you already are aware that none of the easter eggs are active at the moment so currently we cannot do any specific task or a side mission but if we are to repeat the history from modern warfare times the first easter egg with the bunkers and in particular bunker number number 11 was open in the mid season 3 update so we can expect some big easter egg in the mid seasonal update anyways my fellow verdansk citizens that would be all for this report i hope you enjoy it please let me know what do you think about these red phones in the comment section below and are they going to have some significant impact on the future development of the story and easter eggs uh, also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for future great Call of Duty content. And until next time, I wish you all the best and stay frosty.